friend? I know your ears are working, Arthur. Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Why are you pacing around? You sit. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Evening. Ben, I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. All right, you know, just a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Good evening, Arthur. Yeah. You keep 
Keep your eyes open, Bill. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. 
You chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Taking your teeth as well. You got the map? Do the decent thing. There ain't no reason to tie me like this. Aren't you gonna untie me? Okay. Well, I'll know where to find you.
Let's go. Yeah.
partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best Keep moving. Well, fine eye, mister. Okay, girl.
Yep. Yeah. Morning. Uh, you know it's rude to stare at folks, don't you? Are you looking for trouble? Thought you'd put up a tougher fight. Welcome. Looks like a friend here had a few too many sugar cubes. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. I gotta pay you a little less because of the missing paperwork, okay? Well, sure. I'm happy to take the reins on this one. You barely have to handle these. They know just what you're after.
Why is it always have a nice such a day, Mister? Performance with you. Now I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn murder. Son of a bitch. Steal that, it's a debt. Oh, damn it. Ain't my concern, no, sir. Hey, cat. Hey, kitty. You'll be all right. Leave your corpse on the ground! <laughs>
You okay, boy? Huh? Hey, boy. Let's go, boy. Almost got me ruffled. I didn't say anything because I've already forgotten. Please, God! Hey, mister. Howdy. Yep. Welcome, welcome. How do you do? Christ, I'm liable to get robbed with this much coming in.
Folks in New Hanover will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Hello, mister. Hey, partner. Beautiful bit of country, huh? Yeah. Hey there, partner. Howdy.
Yeah, yeah. You there! Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha! That's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! It was a good try, but <laughs> maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? Here. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Mm. Maybe we'll do this again, huh? Hasta la próxima, amigo. I guess that I am just some tired old Yankee dreamer in a world I no longer understand. That's so. I am starting to think so. I am starting to fear so. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur.
Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> sure. That ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> but, uh... There she is. I'm gonna miss Mac. You got Neither this place man. whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. What kind of fellow you like to rob alongside? Yeah. You know? Hmm. Hmm. Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. Hmm. That makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. R.I.P. Mac. Hmm. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Hello, Dutch.
least we still got a good fire, huh? Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Evening to you. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. We're free. We are alive. And we are free. So enjoy yourselves. Life is good. Oh, life is good. You hear that, Mr. Pearson? Life is very good, sir. Very good indeed. So all of you, keep busy. And stay out of the worst of trouble out there. We made it! Pearson! I'm famished! You wanna cook right or not?
something? Mm. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold. I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Hey, friend. Or a siphon. Here, drink oh. this. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh, oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You'll be all right. Thank you. Okay, there. So up now. Swanson, you in here? Come on. Uh, howdy. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Hiya. Look out, mister. Uh, hey, what the hell? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. 
I have removed myself from Morpheus' embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game! Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh, well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. I better go all in. Okay, let's do this. I'll call. Here. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Look at that! For Christ's sakes! Yeah... Yes! Onwards we march. Are you kidding me? Sorry, but time to take things up a little. I'll happily take all that off your hands. Huh. Somebody put on his big boy pants this morning, hmm? I'm going all in. There, that makes me think. Ah, well. All right, what do we got? There. Hmm. We're in some trouble, my friend. There we go! Bullshit! Well done. Ah! All right! Keep it going. Well, you did well. This has been quite the eventful day. I wish I'd asked that drunken fool to bless my card before he passed out. Good. Let's start this low for now.
I'll check. Here. Fine. How about that? Okay. <sighs> Check. Check. I reckon all in. Hmm. Seems it's us again. How about that? Oh, that's a decent hand. Nice. Not again. Glad I ain't in your seat. Shall we just play a little more? Darn it. All in. Look at his face, he's bluffing. Have a look. Read him and wait. Ah. <laughs> Good luck with those cards. Ah, damn. Okay. Great hand. I'll take it. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Swanson! Hey! Calm down! What the hell did you hey. just say to me? Get I your hands off word. him! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! Don't hurt me. Oh, 
my god! Kill him! I'm gonna keep the law on you! Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay away from me! Son of a bitch! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Simple mistake. You can still be saved. Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> I told him! Let's go, boy. about now.
when he'd show up. Sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Mrs. Adler? What am I doing here? How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay. Uncle Arthur. Evening. Hey, folks. Hi there. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Good. Well, keep it up. Uh-huh.
Good evening, Arthur. The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Tired. Well, some movement might wake you up. Hip, hip. Okay, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Take that tone with me. Sorry, Mama. You ain't out of it again, are you? I'm fine. All right. Go get some rest. Hi, Mr. Strauss. There she is. Hello, Jack. Yep. Hello, Arthur. Hi there, Arthur. <laughs> Make a big pot. I'm starving. Title to a drink. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Well, nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. Prince turned into a toad. Lovers Let's into stones. Entire country turned into morons. Yep, yep. Curses everywhere. Come on, pal.
first one to drop him gets the gold. Take him for everything he got. Oh, Mr. Downs! You set me up! I'm in the... Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm... 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 We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, 
sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Be reasonable! <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money!
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <laughs>